to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. All right, so today we are working with new home builders and let's see, what is it called? Contacting new builders to schedule an appointment to discuss sales and marketing. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out, but we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound. And I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing. And I think it'll work out. To set the stage, you contact new home builders and developers to talk to them about using your real estate services for sales and marketing. The requirements you have to have are you must have a new home builder flyer that outlines your solutions, and you must be willing to call builders and developers. The intention is to set an appointment with the builders and discuss how you might work together. So as usual, Emily, let's go ahead and practice the script word for word first time. And then the second time, we'll go through it in your own natural tone, style, and phrasing. This is a very short script, by the way. It's your initial phone call. Go ahead whenever you're ready. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Darren. Hi there. My name's Emily. I'm with Premier Realty Associates. Hi, how I'm, are you? I'm great. I'm reaching out because I see that you have a new development project that was just approved in Santee. Yeah, we uh, it's a new project, so we're excited about getting that going. Well, congratulations. Hey, I'm curious, um, what are your plans for sales and marketing? Well, it's it's a fairly smaller project, and normally I would lean on a, a, a on-site sales and marketing team. But for this particular project, I'm not sure whether it's going to be cost effective to hire the people and everything like that at the moment. So what do you have in mind? Well, I appreciate you sharing that with me. I'd like to share with you my sales and marketing plan on how we sell homes quickly for the most amount of money. When's the best day and time to meet with you? Uh, I'm typically available any day after two o'clock. Terrific. I'll come by today at two o'clock or two 30. Does that sound good? Yeah, that works. Okay, what's the best email to send you a one-page flyer on the solutions we offer for marketing new homes? It's going to be dkt at mynewhomeproject.com. Terrific. I'm going to send that out as well as a bio about me, and I'll see you around 2.15, 2.30, okay? Okay, sounds good. What did you say your name was again? Emily. Emily. And... Realty Associates. Okay, so you're a real estate agent? I am. All right. So yeah, that was pretty simple. Um, well, I added in a little bit of verbiage. You did. It was good. Yeah. So do you want to try it again and put it in your own voice? Yeah. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello, this is uh, Tunstall Construction. How can I help you? Hi there. My name is Emily. I'm calling from Premier Realty Associates. How are you today? I'm doing well, Emily. How can I help you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm reaching out because um, I see that you have a new development project that was just approved in Santee. Yeah, it's uh, we're we're about to kick that off. We just got the permits and we're ready to break ground. Well, I'm an East County expert uh, real estate agent. I work all over East County. I'm curious, what are your plans for sales and marketing on your project? Well, typically for a project like this, we'll have an on-site sales and marketing group. However, this one's a little bit smaller, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to justify the cost to get the home sold. I don't necessarily want to do it myself, although I have in the past. It's just a lot of work. Well, I appreciate you sharing that me with me. Um, tell you what, I'd love to work with you and help market your development. If I could be the go-to agent for any buyers coming to look, 
Um, I'd love to set up an appointment where I can show you what I can do to market your project. Um, when are the homes going to be ready? Well, like I said, we're just starting to break ground. So uh, once we get everything, we have to put all the infrastructure in. It's just dirt right now. So we have to, you know, put all the sewage and 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 the electricity and, and run the water and everything like that. So that's going to take a good you know, four to six months to get all of that installed. And then once we start building the homes, once all that stuff is in, we'll lay all the foundation, we'll, you know, run the electricity, start building the homes. So I think this is going to be about a year long project before everything is done. However, we might be able to roll a couple of these homes out in phases. So I, I would anticipate about a year. Okay. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds like that's what you're about um, in my opinion as well. How many homes are on the project? 25. Oh, yeah, that is quite small. Okay, awesome. Well, I would love to meet with you, discuss what I can do to help you. It can be a win-win situation. You can save on the cost of some marketing, and I can help you, you know, get the word out and kind of create a little buzz about this, this new community. I think people will be excited. And, like, right now, People are kind of holding off because the interest rates are so high. Are you offering any kind of creative financing to get people in the door or to create some interest? I mean, I'm willing to work some things out and see what we come up with. You know, one of my biggest concerns is expenses. And, you know, to be quite honest, and I hate to do this to you, but if, if I have to pay commission, then that is an expense for me as well. I'll, you know, and I understand the reasons why. I'm just curious, is, are, are you willing to work with me? If we decide to work together, would you be willing to work with me on on the, the commission? Well, yeah, we can discuss all that when we meet. Um, I was wondering, do you have any time later today to meet? I think I could fit you in. What, what time are you thinking? I was thinking around three o'clock. Does that work for you? Because I'm going to be in the neighborhood anyways. Hmm, three o'clock. Okay. Um, yeah, let's have that discussion. Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to come by. Um, I'll bring you all the my marketing material that I do when I list homes. Um, and to also gain buyers. I'll tell you what, why don't we why don't we meet at the actual lot itself? It's just bare dirt, but we have we now have a uh, little mobile home type set up there that we can meet in our little office. That it's sounds great. Okay. Okay. So at three o'clock, it's right on, on the, on the site. Yes. Um, tell you what, in the meantime, can I get your email and I can send you out, you know, a bio on me and what I've done. And, and also I have like a one page marketing flyer that I use for um, new build constructions to kind of use on social media to pass out in the neighborhood. Sure. Um, okay. Sure. Awesome. It's DKT at Darren Tunstall.com. Perfect. I'm going to send that out to you in the next few minutes and I'll see you at three o'clock today, Darren. Okay. Okay. Sounds good Thank to me. Thank you so much. I look forward to meeting with you. Absolutely. The only change that I would make to that is when you ask what is the best email to send a quick flyer to you, I would stop and pause a little bit there. Get me the email before you say, this is what I go out and hand out and Okay. Things like that. That's the only thing that I would say is because you want to get that email right away. You know, what's the best email that I can send that, uh, send a, a quick flyer to you before we meet? And then I give you the email and then, yeah, so I'll go ahead and I'll send that out to you. And um, it's just something that we hand out to clients and uh, the neighborhoods and things like that. And uh, it also gives you some good idea of, of what we can do for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. That, that's all I would say about that. Otherwise, what else would you add? How would you change it? Um, I didn't understand what you said about commission, so I just kept going. I kind of, I didn't hear exactly what you said, so I just kept going. I said, well, we can discuss all that because I didn't hear what you said. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so what I meant was, <clears throat> you did a good job, by the way. What I meant was, since it's 25 homes, for example, mm -hmm. And I thought you said, would you it'd be interested in working on commission? I did. Okay. I did. So what I meant to say, I'll have to go back and listen to it again. But what I meant, basically what I meant was meaning to say was, 
and we could practice this part over again. If you if you're selling 25 homes for a new contractor, me, then six percent on 25 homes is a lot. And I'm giving you a lot of listings at one time. So right. the question is, are you willing to work with me on lowering your commission? Mm -hmm. I, didn't I didn't ask it straight out like that, but are you interested right. or would you be interested or would you be open to lowering your commission and working for a lesser rate for uh -huh. bulk listings? Right. But that's not how it was, how I, no, probably. and then I'm like, does he mean flat rate or does he mean percentage? I was like confused. So I just kept going. Yeah, that's fine. Said we could discuss all that when we meet because I was like, uh, I didn't know how to respond. But you bring up a good point too. Like you could okay. even do it on flat rate as well. Right. Right. You could do flat rate. You could do it based on percentage, you know, whichever you decide that you're going to discuss with right. a contractor about that. So let's try that again and, and incorporate that. I'll incorporate that into the script. So do it one more time, then we'll be finished here. Beginning? Yeah. Hi there, my name's Emily. I'm calling from Premier Realty Associates. How are you? Doing well, Emily. How can I help you? Hey, so I'm reaching out to you because I see that you have a new development project that was just approved in Santee. Yeah, we uh, we just filed the permits. They approved them and we're ready to break ground. Awesome. Congratulations. Hey, I'm curious, what are your plans for sales and marketing? Well, that's a really good question. Uh, normally for a bigger project, this is only 25 homes. So normally for a bigger project, I would hire an on-site sales and marketing team to come in and do the work. However, trying to justify the cost for doing that uh, on a smaller project. So I don't know. I mean, what's on your mind? What are you thinking? Well, I'd love to partner with you and, and take some of that off your plate. Um, I appreciate you sharing with me um, your ideas. Um, I'd like to share with you some of my sales and marketing plan on how I can sell your homes quickly for the most amount of money. Yeah, I would love to talk about that. I'm kind of curious, though, I, you know, because it is 25 homes, in my mind, it's not a ton, but I know from a real estate agent's perspective it's quite a few homes. So if I gave you all home, all 25 homes to sell, would you be willing to work with me on, on lowering your rate and trade for, you know, bulk, bulk listings? I'd love to discuss that with you. Okay. Um, do you have a good time today to meet maybe around three o'clock. I'm going to be down in Santee. For yeah. Three o'clock works for me. Excellent. Okay. In the meantime, um, can I get your email to send you some uh, flyers and such? Yeah, it's dkt at darrentunstall.com. Excellent. I'll also add in a little bit of a bio about me so you can kind of get to know me before we actually meet in person. And, and I look forward to meeting you at three o'clock. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Why don't we meet at the lot? It's at 123 Elm Street. Uh, we have a little mobile home set up there and it's our office space. So we're about to break ground. Uh, we'll just meet there and, and looking forward to seeing, seeing what you have. Okay. I'll wear my boots. <laughs> Sounds good. Don't forget the spurs. I was saying construction boots. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, how did you feel about that? That was, that was a much better flow. That was better. I felt more comfortable and it went, I did it slower. So I think. I was talking way too fast before mm -hmm. and tripping myself up. Again, that's the purpose of practicing scripts consistently every single day, multiple times, not just once and then not, a, not one, not just a one and done, Right. you know? So, uh, but yeah, it, it naturally got better and better and better. So good job on that. All right. So that's the script. I hope that you found it very useful. To download the script, just go ahead and head over to realestatescriptspodcast.com. There'll be a link there for you to download the script. This podcast is for the purpose of education only, and it does not make any guarantees. We suggest you seek out the help of your broker, coach, or mentor for specific situations. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall at Repros. California DRE number 0185344.